Welcome to Thriving Tribes, man. My name is Kuru, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. So today I was um, talking to somebody and this was an <laughs> impactful conversation I was having. And I totally forgot to actually make an episode about this because it's something that I've learned over six months ago and I'm getting dividend of it now. And it's something that has completely changed my life. So uh, I, I think about, sorry, I'm just stumbling on my words there. A year ago, I got a wristwatch called Whoop. And this wristwatch, um, it tracks um, my daily movements. It tracks my um, my workouts, my sleep. And basically just gives me an idea of what's really going on in terms of just my overall well-being. I've also got a scale that is a digital scale. So it measures my body fat, my water, retention and all sorts of things. And really when what's, when I started measuring things, it helped me to optimize every single thing that I'm doing. So uh, the latest introduction was 200 grams of protein per day, which has now made a significant change just to my body so my body composition is changing much faster than it has many many uh for the past many years so there has been a lot of changes and the other thing that made me start tracking stuff was the fact that uh, i was reading a book which was talking about uh multiple uh sources of stress and really managing those multiple sources of stress and the reason why you want to Managing multiple sources of stress is because there's a thing they called decision fatigue. That uh, within a day, for you to have clarity to make decisions, you always have a finite amount of time. And you can increase or decrease, and that's based on your control of stress, which made complete perfect sense. So, what does this have to do with being in a sexless relationship? So, when you are uh, not taking a handle or at least handling the multiple sources of stress it means that your decision fatigue is much smaller therefore when you get into interactions within the house you're not having the remember i'll put it this way have you noticed that when you're having conversations you're always overcome when the conversation is happening and um she she shames you she um she speaks over you and then you sort of are witted within the conversation and then you don't realize what really happened so you yield because you really don't have a foot to stand on and then all of a sudden when you the other day the following day when you're thinking about it you think oh i wish i'd said this following thing or you get into a slum so you you feel better about the, the event and then you continuously go through this thing where you're just feeling better about yourself feeling better about the interaction and then you've got this continuous cycle of just having a bad day and then a bad week and then a bad month and then overall year has been bad because of the fact that you're not controlling that decision fatigue so it becomes an important piece that you're measuring every single thing that you're doing and again this is it seems a lot of tedious and I'm, when i explain this it goes oh this sounds like a lot of work yes it is a lot of work but most people when i speak about this they now want to do every single thing in one go so first i got my my scales was the first thing that came so i started tracking on my scales through the phone and then over a period of time when that became consistent then i introduced the watch and then now that's become consistent and then now the diet so there was some progression towards it so as the the more i've got a handle of it the more i realize that i've got a sound mind and a calm a state and even when we have me and my wife have interactions where she would normally outwit and overcome the conversation and I wouldn't know what to say. I'm much chilled and with clarity, I can I can make decisions and have an interaction where it's not about winning, it's about having that collaborative uh, agreement. So even if we part ways without agreeing, I'm still, my, my day is still not ruined or my week is not ruined or my year is not ruined because I've got a control of things. So I don't know if that actually made a lot of sense, but I, I really hope you grasp that because it's a very important thing that is working in my life. And I really wanted to share with you guys because um, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm on top of things. Even when I go to the gym, I've got clarity. I know exactly what I need to do. And one little secret that I think Maybe it makes sense and maybe for you guys might think it's not. So the other thing that I, I've implemented recently and 
is that I only do three, maximum four exercises when I go to the gym. Most people, they want to do like a thousand sets of different exercises and therefore you never. So um, I do pretty much chest three times a week and I do that with different variations of uh, exercises so I just choose that and I do one exercise and do 100 set, uh, 100 reps on that exercise and then uh, I'll choose another body part so I'll superset this to do 100 reps each on each uh, body part and then move on to the next exercise and then a, a, one more exercise which is usually uh, on the punching bag and those four exercises because I've simplified it it just re reduces the um the stress that I put on my decision making. So my decision fatigue isn't impacted. And it's a very important piece because I think most guys, they when they go to the gym, you, you are so wanting to retain your muscles or you want to gain muscles, but you overdo it and you overthink it to the point where you have decision fatigue. And again, with diet and so on, I pretty much eat steak every single day. I know what I'm eating. I don't get tired of it. I love eating steak. And because I know that's what I'm eating, it removes any decision-making from my day. And the, when I when the mundane decisions, when I remove them out of my life, I find myself that I have a, a longer period within before I actually reach a decision fatigue. And nine times out of ten now, I really don't go without... I don't really even go into decision fatigue. I'm pretty of clear mind, uh, sound... Um, uh, sort of clarity as well as just feeling good about myself and uh, everything that's around me so it's an important lesson that i just wanted to share with you guys which um is probably uh the first time sharing it i'm probably going to figure out a different way of sharing it so i might remake this episode on a future date uh when i've uh, say the same few times i'm it's my first time saying it and hopefully if you've got any questions come to our facebook group thriving tribesmen and you can ask any questions regarding decision fatigue we can walk you through what that looks like so thank you very much and i'll be speaking to you soon take care